Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Excuse the appearance. I am actually sitting here making breakfast and I thought I would come on and talk to you guys. I hope you're going to be able to hear me, okay? I'm like making up stuff right now as I go. I'll show you what I did when it's all done. Anyway, there are a lot of new faces and my audience is growing. I'm so happy about that. And a lot of the reason why that's happening is because you guys have been spreading the word. So I want to thank you for that. But I wanted to just come on quickly and recalibrate what did I get on my shirt? <laughs> um, anybody else a messy cook? Like you get stuff all over the place. Like when I do dishes, the water just splashes all over. I'm like so unbelievably messy. So anyway, I wanted to come on and recalibrate us to what the mission is, what I stand for in the work that I do around personal mastery. Just so um, those of you that may not understand um, what I do can have a little bit more understanding about personal mastery and why it's important, why the mission that I stand for is important in your life. Um, so first of all, personal mastery is going to be important to people like that want to live a life of impact. Like, you know, that there is more to life than just going to work, going to school, getting married, having the two kids, all of that stuff. And there usually is a point in our lives where we feel like we are being called to move in that direction to have more purpose and to have more impact and to live life more authentically. But the issue is we don't know how to do it. So people that live the lifestyle that I talk about are usually people that are motivated. Um, if you think that it sounds good to have a good life, but you're somebody that doesn't want to do the work or has a history of being very inconsistent, then the first place that you're going to want to start is um, learning about how you can get to a baseline where you then want to grow and you want to evolve and you want to um, have a vision for where you want your life to book to go and have beliefs and have this sense of purpose about how you move forward in life and then the second piece of this is not only having that motivation to want that better life but also having the um the commitment to, oh there's only bowls they only give you like a few dishes anyway so then having that commitment to actually have the self-discipline and the fortitude to forego whatever life's immediate comforts are for you. And that could be different for everybody, right? For some of us is continuing to eat shitty food. For some of us is staying in crappy relationships or staying in a job that we know that we don't like or just sitting on the couch <laughs> watching Netflix when you know you should be doing some personal development or reading. The people that live the life that I'm talking about or want to live the life that I'm talking about know that you get closer to your purpose through vision, through um, changing your beliefs and through commitment and a desire to have the discipline. And while you're pursuing these goals that have more vision, more uh, a change in belief system and all of that you start to have more knowledge of yourself so not only are you starting to transcend the fact where you want to live the day-to-day -day and get the successes that society has taught us to want to go after you are actually doing the work that needs to occur so that you don't have to question am I living my life's purpose am I living in my dream am I doing the things that I should be doing or that I'm called to do. You know you are doing it because you have established a foundation for yourself. You have established a personal discipline for yourself. You're always striving and motivated to do better and to be better. And in you becoming a quality person, you create a huge impact not only in your own life but in the lives of others and that's truly what anybody's life purpose is um, when I read all the natal charts hundreds of natal charts that I've read everybody's life purpose is to become the best version of themselves to live life authentically and in doing so you bring your light into the world and you share that with others 
So what I truly stand for is you living up to your true potential. So if you feel like you are motivated and you feel like that's something that you want to do, but maybe you just don't have the foundation or maybe you don't have clarity on the actions you need to take next, that's where you get help from somebody like me that is a personal mastery coach or that's what my lessons are geared toward or even when you hear me talk about spirituality when you hear me talk about tarot and astrology and all of that it's not for you to take these tools and use them on a mundane level is for you to have these proactive approaches to your life so that you have all the information and the knowledge and the tools that you are able to then leverage to live a better life. You know what energies are available to you so you can line up with them and tap into them. With tarot, you know how to pull tarot cards so you um, proactively know some of the energies and situations and circumstances that are coming up so that you can then shift the energy by changing the things that you see come up that you don't like and the way that you respond to those. But also, if you know that there's some positive things coming up, you can then you know, create more impact by leveraging those positive opportunities. So that is even why I use tarot, astrology, all of that. It, you leverage that to even become a quality person that lives a life of impact, not to just learn these things because they're cool and they're trending and all of that. So if you are new to the community here, I just wanted to recalibrate you on what personal mastery truly was because I think that it's important to know that the way that I teach things, the way that I talk about things, the way that I talk about astrology, it's not going to be your cup of tea if you're not used to working with somebody that is really passionate about showing up, being motivated, having a vision for life and doing the work. And so if that's not you, then you're probably not going to resonate with my message. However, if it is you, then I'm glad that you came aboard because it's so exciting to start to see my little um, community grow with lots of new faces. So again, Yashika's intuition, personal mastery, what you want to, um, what you will get from the community, from here, from my lessons, from my passion, from my business, from the things that I share with you on the various platforms that I interact on, is that I'm teaching you how to live up to your true potential, your full potential. I, I can't stand when people have all this power available to them, but they don't live life to its fullest. And to get the most out of life, I strongly believe that you become a, a quality person and the more quality that you become um, inside and out and in all aspects and using those spiritual tools, the more impact, the more positive impact you're going to have in the life that you live. So welcome aboard. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about the new moon over on Clubhouse. So if you're on Clubhouse, you can follow me. I'm at Yashika Lind. Um, otherwise, I'm about to enjoy my little breakfast. Nothing fancy. It's just a, a what, what is this? Like a McMuffin? English muffin. <laughs> I made an English muffin, uh, an organic egg, some spinach, some garlic and everything, and then some Kerrygold butter. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.